Hey knuckleheads, welcome back to Sis in the City. So this is one of the many times Sis went live yesterday and he was talking about this pastor who apparently rubbed his spit in one of his members' faces. Ugh. I believe the pastor's name is Michael Todd. Uh, feel free to search for it because I absolutely will not post that. That's beyond disgusting. But let's see how Sis feels about it. never do that at all that does not represent Christ it's the devil it's an abomination and those that's out there so-called saved and sanctified you should know it's an abomination I'm not taking it down stop inboxing me I don't care if it's your bishop it's nasty he want the views he want the followers he can take it he want the views he want the followers he can take it and number one it is COVID it is COVID-19, um, COVID that's going around. And he better hope that the, um, he better hope that Joe Biden or the CDC or the governor, he better hope that those people do not see that video. Number one, they have all rights to close their church down for a whole year. That is disgusting. And any anyone in their right mind that is following him and goes to that church, you can unfollow me right now. Cause I, I, I honey, I will watch you. To be honest, I will watch you. Um, it, it was disgusting. It was not. It, that was not God. I don't care what you say, and I don't care how much you pray. I will watch you. And I, I, I went on some of the profiles that go to his church. No, the Bible say, "Judge not, unless you be judged." Honey, you need to go find you a church. You need to go find you a church. I don't care. The devil can preach too. The devil got a word as well. The devil has a word as well. The devil can preach. The devil can speak in tongues. That was the devil. Well, that was an abomination. And you know what abomination is? That's one thing you cannot, that's one thing God hates. God said he does not like an abomination. The devil, pre the devil can preach. The devil can spit. The devil can speak in tongues. Oh, yes. That's why you have to know the spirit. Know the spirit. Know the fruit of the spirit. So, out of all respect, the video is not coming down at all. And he, he wanted the following, he wanted the views, he wanted to be famous, and he got it. All your members that go to his church can stop, <laughs> okay? And I know how to get all minds together, okay? So we gonna be, it's going to be war. I got lawyers as well, okay? I'm not taking it down. And if you go to his church, you need to really unfollow. You need to really don't go to the church no more. And the fact is... The guy allowed the pastor to spit all on his face. Hunk of spit. That's why you... 
you can catch you can catch herpes of kissing. Slob is germs. Okay, and then I see some of y'all members are in my comments arg um, arguing with my supporters. Don't make me read you. Don't make me read you. I don't care if you are a member of, of the devil. That's not that's not a church. That's not a church. That's not a church. That is not a church. You can't argue with me about that. I'm very spiritual. I don't fast and pray for nothing. I don't give up chicken bones and collard greens for nothing. That is a body fluid. That is nasty. That is disgusting. That's an abomination. And God, does, let me tell y'all something who's thinking about running away from Christ. Don't run away from Christ because of that devil. Don't run away from Christ because you got people out here making a mockery of Jesus. I wanted to say something else, but I was told I can't say it no more. But God is going to deal with him by the end of this week. That was nasty. That does not represent me. And that does not represent us Christians. Believers. We do not represent that. We don't represent him. We don't know him. We don't support him. And we don't support that church. And we don't support his members. I will be going live on Facebook in a couple days to address this. We do not represent that foolishness. We do not represent his members. We do not represent his name. He does not represent Jesus. He represents the devil. And anybody that right mind, even a blind man can know that he's the devil. That's the devil, you guys. We got out, we got planes falling in the Bosha. We got planes falling in St. Louis. We got people out here killing each other. We don't know if it's winter or summer one day. The cars are falling off the bridge. Bridges are collapsing while people are driving on. It's snowing one moment, one moment, and it's winter at one moment. Y'all better understand God is soon to come. And you better be ready because the Bible, I'm not making this up. The Bible say, see, let me tell y'all how the Bible is real. The Bible said it was, we are at our last days, right? Okay. So if we are at our last days, why the Bible is saying all of this is happening and it's happening? All of this is happening and it's happening. It's nasty. It's an abomination. And, it, and, and all y'all pastors and so-called members sitting around in my inbox cursing me out. How you Christian and you're cursing? How you say you, you represent Jesus Christ? The Lord and our personal Savior. And you just call me a bee and say, take it down. Do you know that you can get in trouble for even threatening me? You cannot threat on social media. You are a threat to the U.S. I'm not taking no nothing down. They need to see how the devil work. I'm letting you guys, I'm letting you guys know this once again. That church does not represent Christians. That church does not represent us. He does not represent us. We don't represent his church. We don't know him or his members or his church. We don't know none of that mess. All we know is the devil is the bit the devil. And I'm not gonna go into details what I think it was or what I think it is because I have a platform and I have to watch what I say. All I gotta say, I'm praying for those brothers. I am praying for those brothers, and I am praying for um I am praying for their minds, um, they wanted to go viral. They wanted to be famous. I'm pretty sure their members are going to grow because everybody in the world ain't saved. Everybody in the world is not deep in the world. Everybody in the world is not holy. Everybody in the world want to be prophesied that they go get a house and a car and that they wig or grow long, and it ain't. Um, so I'm going to be careful. If y'all follow him, please unfollow me. Don't come in my comments uh, going back and forth with my supporters because I swear to God, I will come in those comments and read you. Um, you do not. We don't represent you. You don't represent us. Go back over there, and I hope you find Jesus for real. That was nasty, and it hurts me so much. It really hurts me so much um, that I saw a lot of you guys in the comments taking up for him. That really hurts me. And y'all going back and forth with my supporters. Oregon, saying nastiest things. It was nasty, and it was disgusting. Address him. What is this live going to do? I don't have, I would never address him. He would never, I don't care where we at. We can be at Holy Convocation. He would never be in my presence. 
That I can guarantee you. I'm doing this live because this is my platform. And if you don't like it, you unfollow. Thank you. And I'm addressing it because some of y'all demons are on my live. We know how to put people in our way, not to let... Oh, I know I have people. When I go places, I can, I can tell somebody, don't let them touch me. Don't let them talk to me. Oh, I'm very good at that. I would never sit here and address him. That's the devil. I am upset, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't even have on my ring. I am upset. I am hurt of that video. And I'm hurt because so many people in my comments or in my inbox are going off on me. Saying, that was the word. He did good. He didn't even spit on him. How can you accept that? How, how are you happy with that? How are you happy with that, y'all? I'm hurt. Our churches is falling apart. And y'all got small churches out here that's barely making it. Y'all got churches out here that walk. Y'all got people who are anointed, who are living saved, who are living sanctified, who wish they church can be a mega church. And you got this demon who is sitting around speaking abominations into the members. And they are living any kind of way. It hurts me, y'all. It hurts me. It hurt me so much to see our churches are falling apart. You got small churches, corner store churches, people having churches in their basement, and they are living saved. They are living sanctified. They are preaching the word of God. And you got these mega churches are brainwashing people. You got these mega churches. They are brainwashing them, telling them that they can live any kind of way. Now they spit it in people's hands. This is disgusting. And I see why some of y'all don't go to church. I'm not judging you. I see why some of y'all turn y'all backs on God. And there's a song that say, God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. So don't give up on God. I might not know how to sing, but because he won't give up on you. He's able. I am hurt. And I'm thinking about taking some time off social media. That video is disgusting. Uh, for every threat, for every every threat that come in my inbox from his members. And this is on everything that I love. I will take legal action against you. And you won't even know it. Stay out of my inbox. Stay away from my comments. Stay away from my, my people, my supporters. Supporters, if y'all see somebody arguing back with you, tag me. I'm on standby. I don't have time for his members. I don't want nothing to deal with those type of people. They are an abomination to our church. They do not represent Christians. They do not represent Christ. It is disgusting. And they are brainwashed. And they are sick. And they are sad. And they are a disgusting human being. And I mean what I say. I saw you are. I saw some of y'all in my comments. I saw some of y'all in the comments cursing my supporters out. Telling them, how dare you to talk about my pastor. You, I'm like, oh. Oh, so you coming over here cursing my people out. Drew, you going too far here. No, I'm not going too far. I'm speaking the truth. One thing you're going to learn about me, I'm honest. I'm truthful. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I want y'all to go to heaven. I want y'all to be anointed. I want y'all to be blessed. And I guarantee you all those members that sit around over there are not blessed. They waiting on a paycheck to paycheck. They waiting on to be prophesied. They sitting on the right now when he goes when he gonna be single. When is he going to be single? It's sad. It's disgusting, y'all. Hi, Pastor Renee. Renee, Pastor Renee, pray for me and pray for those people. I gotta be honest with y'all. That was the no. It listen. It was not about the spit. It was how it was done. And then you can look all on his face and his eyes and tell he's not living right. You can look all through his body. Those that fast, for real fast, and seek God and have the Holy Ghost. You can tell. I'm not near judging him. I'm being truthful, y'all. And I'm being truthful to his members that are watching. Y'all need to find y'all a new church. 
Y'all need to find you a new church. You have been warned. You have been warned. You need to find you a new church. You need to find you a new house. You need to find you a new church. And whoever that pastor is, I am praying for you. I am praying for true salvation. I am praying that the Holy Ghost will find you. I am praying that the Holy Ghost will keep you. Okay? Yes. Got to be careful calling all those people pastors and following everybody. Yeah, everybody that say I'm a pastor ain't a pastor, y'all. It was how it was done. You don't... That mean... Oh, they, let me shut up. Because my my other question is, are they super, super close? Are they super, super close? Who are me to judge? Who, who, who are me to judge? Um, who are me? I'm not going to argue with nobody in these comments because I said what I said. It's an abomination. Who are me to judge? And if that was his brother, so you tell me it was all planned? You can you tell me they wanted to go viral? They wanted to be on, but all the celebrities are talking bad about it. So they're going viral for the wrong reason. And let me let me let y'all know this, and I'm getting off on here because I just got a text. They say, get off. I'm getting off, I promise you. Let me say this. You think all, you think all, I saw a lot of celebrities, a lot of the gospel celebrities, a lot of well-known celebrities. They're in my comments. They're all over. It's posting everywhere. They're not happy. They are not, oh my God, let me go visit his church. Let me see him an offering. We're not doing that. We looking at like, who is these members? We are praying for you. So I'm not saying I'm a celebrity, <laughs> but I'm saying we are not happy about it. And I'm saying we, we are not happy about that. And we are not going to support that. And we are not going to send an offering. Okay? Every, everybody that I know who has got millions of fans more than me saying it was nasty. It was disgusting. And we do not support that. You wanted to go viral and you're viral for the wrong reason. And all his members can unfollow. Thank you. Because I'm not begging for a follow. Believe me, I'm going to always end up in the blog or the news to get more followings. Believe me on that. And I... <laughs> so, you can unfollow... I don't care. You can unfollow me, honey. I'm asking you to unfollow. All his members over here. Now they talking about, oh, he judging. I'm sure Liz judging. Bob, I'm judging right now because I'm telling you it's an abomination. And it was nasty. Can't, I, so we can't come on social media and tell y'all the truth? Yeah, love 7170. People um, using the name slash works of the Lord for me uh, for fame. And, and yeah, it's right. And I see a lot of y'all um, say people watching. Y'all don't got nothing to say because you know I told the truth. But I'm telling all his members, baby, you can unfollow. I'm not begging for your follow at all. I've been in this business for eight years. Going on eight years. So, how I'm judging. I, post a, I have a platform to encourage you. So, what do I supposed to have a platform for then? Put on my mask, child. Okay, y'all. All right, y'all. I love y'all. I'm hurt. Yes, I'm hurt. Um, and pray for me. And um, I'm about to get some stuff together. God is not pleased. Okay. Is that Walmart? No, I'm not at Walmart. But I would love to go. Wal I would go to Walmart because I'm spending my money. Okay. Let's stop judging. You're no different than me and I'm no different from you. And I don't care how much money we got. We still the same. All right, you guys, I'm about to get off on here. I love you guys. Okay. Sis, please spare us the fake outrage. So you're telling me he's mad because someone pulled a stupid stunt in church and went viral because of it? Does that sound familiar at all? And then the pastor's not even Kojic. So I was confused as to why sis kept saying we, like that pastor is associated with his church. Now sis, if you're mad that Pastor Michael Todd gets about 25,000 views when he does his sermons and you get not even 2,500 when you do yours, you can just say that and stop wasting our time. Anyway, till next time knuckleheads.